Hey everybody, happy Monday. Uh, very rare for me to do a video on Monday, but uh, I decided to take a break with the actual uh, video with me on camera here for yesterday's live stream, but it is live stream now. All right, this is coming from Screen Rant. Screen 7's potential Nev Campbell return addressed by original writer. Original franchise writer Kevin Williamson reveals his hopes for Nev Campbell's potential return as Sidney Prescott in the upcoming Screen 7. Kevin Williamson, who wrote the first four movies in the Scream franchise. Now, wait a minute. There's a there's an error in there. because he, From what I remember, he did not write Scream 3. So he only wrote Scream 1, 2, and 4. He, it was a different writer for Scream 3. Uh, says that he comments on Nev Campbell's possible Scream 7 return. First introduced his with in Wes Craven's 1996 original film, Campbell, Sidney Prescott has been a crucial part of the franchise fighting off Ghostface in five different installments. Campbell opted not to return for Scream 6, which we already know why. However, expressing the salary she was offered was not representative of what she had brought to the franchise over the years. In a recent interview of Happy Four Time Podcast via comicbookmovie.com, Wilmington expressed hope that Campbell will return for the announced Scream 7 while he doesn't have an inside information regarding whether this will actually happen. He implores the studio to offer her a fair salary. Check out Wilmington's full comment below. So we're going to read the full comment. I totally respect her opinion. I know exactly where she's coming from. I know her well. I love and adore her, and that's what she did. It's right for her. I love everyone involved in Scream, and all I can say is pay her the money. That's what I would do. I will give her the money. I'm sure there's a number they can agree on that will make them both happy, so hopefully one day they will figure that all out. Scream 6 was critically and commercially success, so it's not no surprise that another sequel in the in the movie is moving forward. While Todd Gillette and Matt Bettinelli also directed the 2022 reboot. I don't know why they keep calling it a reboot. It was a it was a, a sequel to me. Latest development: the directing duo have turned their focus to Universal Monster movie as their next project. Crystal Glennon will instead take on directing Scream 7, with the filmmaker best known for Happy Death Day and Freaky. It is unclear how Landon will attempt to shake up the franchise, but Scream 7 may be the perfect opportunity to bring Campbell back. The late, latest sequel makes clear that Sydney is still very much alive in the world of the franchise, with Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers, revealing that she skipped town with her family upon hearing of Ghostface's return. Campbell herself all, has also made clear that her decision to not return was purely a business decision, and meaning it's likely she would reprise the role in a salary if a salary can be agreed upon. So, my thing is, is I agree with Kevin Williamson, the original writer, pay her the money. Paramount, whoever it is, pay her the money. You guys have seen, you, you guys have seen uh, the first, uh, the first five films that she was in, pay her the money. That's what you guys need to do. Got got the writer strike. Everybody needs the the amount of money that they actually deserve, in my opinion. Um, now I did watch the interview that uh, Nev Campbell was on on Entertainment Canada on YouTube yesterday, and uh, I heard the story, you know, about the interview from uh, a couple other uh, YouTubers. But when she was interviewed, and she was in, uh, she was interviewed about Scream, and about the newest one that's going to be coming out or going to be going into production, whatever or not, when the strike is over with, she winked at the interviewer and said, I, I can't, I can't talk about that. So that kind of tells me, and I know, uh, you know, going back with some of the other YouTube YouTubers that she was potentially, almost, she was potentially getting ready to sign up for Scream 7. Uh, but now this has really got my eye excited because when she did that wink and says she can't, she smiles and did that wink and says I can't talk about it. There's something going on. I mean, there definitely is something going on there because uh, 
you know, sometimes you got it. Sometimes you got to you've got to hide things in order to make it to be a big surprise once uh, you start production on a film. But uh, what there to do? I mean, I can't wait. Once this writer's strike is over, hopefully gets hopefully it's finished uh, by January. Hopefully that way we can get moving on with the rest of these movies and Scream Seven and see what is going to happen. But other than that, that is that is it. You know, Paramount, whoever it is, needs to pay Nev Campbell the money. Have her come back. Give her like a uh, a major role in the film, not a cameo that she had in uh, Five. But uh, either way, you know, Five was good. I mean, I just didn't like the the models for the, the killers. You know, toxic fandom, but hey, it's still watchable to me. But other than that, that is it for the video for today. And what a way to start off the uh, the new week with uh, a Monday video, which is kind of rare. Take care.